So audio is very important and using external recorders is the best way to get great audio in my opinion. Camera preamps like your mirrorless camera or your DSLR are not great when it comes down to audio. I've learned the hard way by listening to some of my older videos. Even with great microphones plugged in them, they was not that great. So I invested a lot trying to get great audio. And I went with external recorders like the Zoom H6, a wonderful recorder, by the way, and the Tascam X8 and the Rodecaster Pro. And I went with a bunch of professional XLR microphones to get great audio. So one of the biggest problem that most content creators fear is syncing audio in posts. A lot of content creators believe that it's so hard to do and it takes a long time to do it. Well, I'm here to show you today that syncing your audio in post with multiple cameras that you can see I'm using a camera here, I'm using a top down camera there, and I'm using a front camera there. I could put all these video feeds along with my professional audio feed in Adobe Premiere Pro, which that's what I'm gonna use in this video, and do it in less than one minute. Let me show you. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So if you're using Adobe Premiere Pro, it is so easy to do. I don't know if you could do this with other editing software, but I'm gonna show you another way on how to do this also on multiple editing softwares. So before we get into it, let me give some tips and tricks on what to do before we get into the video editing software. So first thing you gotta do, before you start recording, make sure your camera, your DSLR, your mirrorless camera, the audio is turned on. It don't matter how good the audio sound coming from the cameras, it don't matter. Just make sure that the audio is on on all your cameras. When you start your recording, right, give 10 seconds of silence. Give 10 seconds of silence with your audio. And I'm gonna show you a little bit the reason why I give 10 seconds of silence. Next, after you give 10 seconds of silence, clap your hands two or three times. That's very important. Clap your hands in the beginning of the video, but if you don't clap your hands in the beginning of the video, no worries. You could do it in the middle of the video or even at the end of the video once you finish your recording. Here we go. Let's go down and go to Adobe Premiere Pro and let me show you how easy to sync your audio with multiple cameras. So let's go. All right, so I'm in Adobe Premiere Pro and I have two camera uh, shots here. And uh, so what, what you want to do is you want to put your videos on the timeline. As I got my front video here, that's on the timeline, that's me. And this is my top down shot. I'll put that right on top because I always use my, put my top down shot above my front angle camera. Uh, but it don't matter how many video feeds you have. Now this here, what I'm dragging in here, this is my external recorder, right? This is a Tascam X8 recorder now as you can see on the timeline here are the claps let me blow that up a little bit here are the claps as you can see it's not synced and if you listen to it it's all gonna be out of whack right Speakers. so you listen to that it's out of whack you listen to it it's all kind of sound bad what you want to do next if you're in adobe premiere pro you want to highlight all your uh tracks your video and your audio right and you want to right click and you want to go to what's called synchronize and you want to synchronize your audio and wants to do that adobe premiere pro is going to do all the work for you you don't have to do nothing else this is the great thing about doing this it don't matter how many video feeds you have if you want to sync it with a professional uh, external recorder you could do that right and adobe premiere pro is going to sync it in less than a minute so check it out as you can see, it's processing it. All right, so boom, here it is. As you can see, the claps right here, that's so. That's why the clapping is so important. And I'm gonna talk about the silence in a, in a minute, but look at that, here we go. So the next thing I'll do, I, I kinda even everything out, so I'll just go ahead and chop that off, get rid of that, right click, cut. All right, so the next thing you wanna do 
is you want to get rid of your camera's audio. We call it scratch audio. We want to get rid of that. But I'm going to let y'all guys listen to it. That is all So Bluetooth up. speakers is the quintessential necessity. Okay. So it's all synced up. But again, it don't matter how good or how bad your camera audio is. Adobe Premiere Pro will sync it up. So what I want to do is I want to highlight the two cameras, the top down in my front camera, and I want to unlink it, right? I want to unlink it. And once I unlink it right here, then I want to go to the audio only, the audio only from the cameras, right? Right click, cut. So the audio is gone. The only thing that's left is my professional audio and what i like to do is i like to link that with uh, one of the tracks one of the video tracks what i'll do is i highlight them and i click link so at this point it's linked up and i'm good here so let me show you all right move that to the side so y'all guys can see boom so bluetooth speakers is the quintessential and necessity there it is for any so small part my top down shot events. and my bottom if shot sitting by the pool, i'm sorry my top down shot my front shot is now sitting together that you can hear the, the, the that's hands small. and all that stuff moving together so my top down and my front camera is all linked together which is awesome but what if you don't have uh have adobe premiere pro uh how do you sync your audio if you don't have Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, so let's put our tracks back. All right, see these are my top down shot and my front shot, and this is a professional audio. All right, so in order to do that, and this is how, this is why the clap is so important. All right, this is why the clap is so important. What you wanna do, you could just pull it, sync it yourself. Just sync it yourself right there. See, get that first clap right there. We will get that first clap, Put it right there. You see that? Boom. Put it right there. All right. Right there. Right. Okay. So that's good enough. So at this point, I'm, I can clap. There it is. So I just synced up two video feeds with the audio that's coming out of the cameras on my DSLR mirrorless camera here manually, and it takes less than a minute to do. So you could get rid of the two top lines, right? Uh, and I highlight them again, get rid of that, unlink that, get rid of that, cut. And I have this one track right here, which is my audio track. Get rid of, the, get rid of this. Okay, so here's another pro tip. Right. One of the reasons why I say 10 se seconds of silence in the beginning of the videos of all your videos is because you want to look at the noise floor uh, in my studio right here. I have, you know, a fan going on. I got all these lights and they have fans on them. So I have a lot of noise that's in this room. So I have what's called, you know, self noise that's going on. And I want to get rid of that. I want to clean up the background noise. So what I usually do is I go to a, a, a right click on and you could do this in Adobe Premiere Pro, but I like to do it in Adobe Audition. So what I'm doing right now is I'm uh, going to Adobe Audition to clean up my audio here. So in Adobe Audition, uh, it's pulling up the track. And uh, once that track come in, I want y'all guys to see the noise floor. All right. So check this out right here. As you can see, look at all that red. Now, again, that's fan noise. That's light noise that I got from all these multiple lights. I got a lot of noise that's going on here. You see that red? And one of the things that I was trying to, I always like to do is I try to get rid, minimize that red as much as I can. Now, don't get me wrong. This is a very clean audio. This is very clean looking at it right here, but I want to make it better. So what I do is I highlight this a little portion of this. I will go to effects. I will go to noise reduction, go to noise reduction process right here. You want to capture noise print. Then next you want to highlight the whole track, the whole audio track. You want to highlight by double clicking on it. Then you want to apply. All right, that's in Adobe Edition. Again, you can do this in Adobe Premiere Pro, but I like it doing it in Adobe Edition because I like to see the progress. All right, so let's look at it again. All right, and, right? and as you can see, 
the, the, the noise, the redness of the track has reduced tremendously, but I wanted, I wanted to, uh, get rid of everything. So what I do next is I go to uh, dynamics. Now this is my noise gate. This is my compressor. This is my limiter. I already got a preset al already, but this is my, by me playing around with it. This is what I've have my presets to you can look at it if you want you can copy it down pause the video and look at my presets what i do next is i apply now what it's doing is it's adding compression it's adding the noise gate it's adding the limiter now let's go on and take a look at it again now as you can see it's no red it's no noise it's no self noise no background noise no nothing so this is perfect now my audio is compressed i have a limiter on it even though i'm using 32 bit float still i it compressed it down it has perfect audio right now next what i'll do is i add equalization to it you don't have to add equalization to it but i like to add a little uh parametric equalization to it right here again another preset that i have i apply once i do that uh i go to my file i hit save and what it's doing right now is going to save it. Okay, so I'm back at Adobe Premiere Pro. Even though I've done some of, this, some of this stuff in Adobe Edition, one of the reasons why I like Adobe Edition because it go detail into the audio. You could do this in Adobe Premiere Pro just by going to your audio. You go to the filters and equalizer. You can go to noise reduction. You can add a denoise and stuff like that. So you can play around with what I just did in Adobe Edition in Adobe Premiere Pro. I like Adobe Edition. I like to clean up my audio. I like to have very, I, I want to eliminate self noise. I want to get rid of all the background noise. And this is one of the reasons why I do that in Adobe Edition. So I want to give you guys tips and tricks on how to fix your audio, how to sync your audio and post. Now, if you want to see a full review uh, of the Zoom H6 and the Tascam X8, check out this video right here where I put these two head to head so y'all guys can listen to uh, both of these items right there. Check that video out. Go on and click that video and meet me there. This is at the Tech Preacher. See you guys on the next video. Peace.